Chapter 15 The Burden of Moab Because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, because in the night Kur of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, he is gone up to Bajith and to Dibon, the high places to weep. Moab shall howl over Nebo and over Medeba, and all their heads shall be boldness and every beard cut off. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth, on the tops of their houses and in their streets every one shall howl, weeping abundantly, and Heshbon shall cry, and Ele Eli, their voice shall be heard even unto Jehaz. Therefore the armed soldiers of Moab shall cry out, his life shall be grievous unto him. My heart shall cry out for Moab, his fugitives shall flee unto Zoar, an heifer of three years old, for by the mounting up of Luhith with weeping shall they go it up, for in the way of Horonaim they shall raise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate, for the hay is withered away, the grass faileth, there is no green thing. Therefore the abundance they have gotten, and that which they have laid up, shall they carry away to the brook of the willows. For the cry is gone round about the borders of Moab, the howling thereof unto Egleim, and the howling thereof unto Beer Elim. For the waters of Daimon shall be full of blood, for I will bring more upon Daimon, lions upon him that escapeth of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land.